It's great to see Boylston Street is filled with people who want to pay their respects and open their wallets for local businesses. Marathon Sports was right next to where the first bomb exploded. WBZ's Michelle Roberts stopped him to see how the employees are coping after the attack. For runners, Marathon Sports has always been a place to swing by. Now people from around the world are gathering out front to take a moment and a picture. It's sad. For others, the open door sends a message of strength. That we can overcome our fears and we can be stronger than ever before. Colin Petty is the owner. His store was surrounded by crime tape on what are usually the best business days of the year. Instead of sales, he's been focused on recovery. I just jumped from a very fast treadmill to a very, very fast treadmill, and it's been that way uh, since, uh, since the Marathon Monday. The Marathon gear is flying off the shelves, and by the looks of this line, Petty won't be getting a break anytime soon. Do you want to back this? Business is back thanks to customers like Bruce Cotta. My wife and I uh, uh, came in yesterday and we wanted to shop. We couldn't. It was so crowded. And then we said, let's come back early tomorrow morning. And we did it. It's just as crowded. Cotta is a Vietnam vet. He says he's seen too much death and destruction and wants to help the Boston victims in the way he can. Here, help comes in the form of blue and yellow. I could buy these sneakers anywhere, or I can buy these shirts anywhere, but definitely want to support the store. And he's not alone. It happened right here at school, so just to support the business. I just wanted to get out and spend a little money on Boylston. And the support doesn't go unnoticed. Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Just feel good. In Boston, Michelle Roberts, WBZ News. Don't you just love every single one of them? It's great. How great is that? Yeah.